All the best things come in a black version. Not like this one bit. Today we're looking at Varkin, so let's get cracking and have a look at Varkin 2018, or whatever. So Varkin is probably the biggest heavy metal festival in the world. It is my favourite, and it is probably one that I would recommend as a first-time festival for someone who's a little bit worried about going to a festival on their own, or they're just going to their first one, or whatever, because there's so many people there, you're bound to find someone to talk to, it is really well organised, and pretty hard to fuck up anything, really. So easy to get around, so easy to get to where you need to be, everything is signposted. It's just a really easy festival to deal with on your first try. So if you haven't been to a festival before, and you're looking to go to one, Varkin is definitely one that you can approach quite easily, I feel. And it's got its own nice German vibe about it, it's in a nice little village and everything. It, you probably know quite a bit about Varken if you're watching this channel, so I'm not going to go into it that much. What I am going to go into today is the lineup. Now, there are a lot of bands on this list that I'm pretty fucking keen to check out, so it's not going to be an extensive list of all the bands playing at the festivals this year, and I'm probably not going to give that much information on it, because uh, I've got a lot to get through today, so let's get cracking. First band on the list is Ailstorm, who I talked about in the Metal Days video, so I don't really need to go into too much detail. Needless to say, Ailstorm are going to be a really fucking good time at Varken. They're probably going to play on what used to be called the party stage. I can't remember what they changed the name to, but it's like the third biggest outdoor stage. I suspect they'll be on that one. I haven't checked. I could be wrong. Either way, I'm looking forward to checking them out for round two after Metal Days. Second act is someone who's also playing at Metal Days, and that is New Zealand's Alien Weaponry. Probably going to go check them out. Maybe, you know, depending on how the Metal Days performance goes, if I miss them at Metal Days, something like that. Either way, I'm pretty keen to check them out. I suspect they'll be on one of the tent stages, but let's find out. First band on this list that's not playing at Metal Days is Amorphous. Now, I fucking love Amorphous so much, I even have a patch right here of them on my fucking battle jacket. Like, pretty big Amorphous fan, enjoy a lot of their studio music. But every time I've seen them live, I've found them a little bit lacking. That may just be me, I may just have seen bad shows or whatever, but they've just never had that certain little something that really grabs you and goes, oh, that was a fucking awesome show. It's kind of just like listening to the album every time I've seen them and it just hasn't been amazing. Maybe they'll pull out all the chocks this time at Varkin and fucking blow me away with something awesome. I really fucking hope that they do that because, oh, that'd just be great. So really hoping that they do something cool this time, but you know, not really holding out a high hope. Prove me wrong, Amorphous. Prove me wrong. Arch Enemy are a band that I quite enjoy quite a lot, and they did play in Australia like a month ago. But because I went and saw Monomath and Sabaton instead, I couldn't go see Arch Enemy. And also, I knew I was going to be seeing them at Varken this year, so it wasn't too much skin off my nose to not see them in Australia. That said, I'm not the most massive Arch Enemy fan, so I'm not going to be completely heartbroken if I miss this show. But every time I've seen Arch Enemy, they have put on a consistently good show, and it's just always enjoyable. You don't have to be a massive fan of their music to enjoy their show. I just think they do a really good job of it, and I'll probably make some time to go see them unless they clash with someone who I really want to see. Haven't checked out the actual running order yet. Arcona are a folk metal band from, I think they are from Russia, and while they are very good and I enjoy all the music of theirs that I've listened to, I've never taken the chance to really get fully into them, probably on the assumption that I already know that I'm going to like them, so I might as well go and explore a sound that I'm not as familiar with, if that makes sense. So I'm pretty keen to check out Arcona live. I've had the chance to do it before, I think, at Brutal Assault, but just got really drunk instead. So I'm pretty keen to check out their sound live and see if they're as enjoyable to me as I think they're going to be. Behemoth are playing at Varken as well as Metal Days this year. I talked about them in the Metal Days video, so I don't really feel like I have to go into it in that much detail here. But Behemoth put on a good show, and again, pretty keen to check them out. So here's a fun thing. You didn't think a bath was going to be playing at this festival, did you? Wrong! A bath is playing at Varken, but in his Motorhead cover band, Bombers, who I am gonna check out because I didn't get that full set of Metal Days last year, and what I saw of it was fucking awesome. Pretty keen to check out the full set from a bath and his cover band, here just to see that ridiculous concept of a buff without his makeup on but still doing all the above moves and generally you know scuttling about left and right like a crab whilst convincingly singing Ace of Spades. I just think that's really cool. Cannibal Corpse are another band who's playing at Metal Days this year and also at Varken, so covered them in the Metal Days video and it's Cannibal Corpse. You don't really need me to tell you anything about Cannibal Corpse, I hope. Children Bodum, same thing, keen to check them out, talked about them in the Metal Days video. 
go check that out. Next up we have a Hungarian folk metal band whose name I'm probably going to mispronounce like a motherfucker and that is Dalriada or something like that. These guys fall into pretty much exactly the same boat as Arcona in that I know who they are, I like their music but I haven't put the effort into exploring their sound that much because I kind of already know that I'm going to like it, so what's the point? Either way, keen to check these guys out and yeah, see what they're bringing to the table with a live show. Danzig is playing it fucking this year. Now, I never really got big into Danzig's music or anything like that, but I kind of feel it's like a sort of a Marilyn Manson type thing where you really should just go to say that you've done it. I'm not going to go out of my way to see Danzig live, but if he's playing it fucking, you know, maybe I'll spare him a couple of minutes to go check out the show and see if it's good or fucking whatever. I don't really care either way because, as I said, I'm not a massive Danzig fan, but curious to see what the live show is like, so. Pop him on the list. I'm camping with a bunch of Scandinavians this year. I'm talking Swedes, Norwegians, Finns, probably a few Danes. I don't know. Either way, the people that I'm camping with probably means that I don't actually really get a choice in whether or not I'm going to go see Dimmu Borgia or not. Here's a spoiler. It means I'm going to go see Dimmu Borgia. But that's absolutely fine because I really like Dimmu Borgia and I've never had a chance to see them live. So even if I didn't have heavy Scandinavian influence in my camping area, I'd be popping along to check them out anyway. Dimmu Borgia are one of those bands I think are going to put a lot of effort into their live show and make it something really special to really differentiate it from the experience of listening to the album. So that's something I'm really keen to check out and I hope they live up to that expectation. Dokken, because I'm gonna be drunk and it's gonna be fun. Hopefully it's not gonna be rainy and shit. And Sparrow are playing it fucking as well as Metal Days. Talked about them in the Metal Days video, so go check that out if you wanna hear what I've got to say about Ed Sparrow, but I'm probably gonna go see him. Up next is one of the bands that plays it fucking pretty much every year, and that is Feuerschwanz. Now aside from having a hilarious German pun as a band name, these guys are actually really fun to see live as they're all about the crowd interaction and fun silly folk metal fun times. I don't really remember many of their songs because I'm usually really drunk when I see them. But I think that's the beauty of them. The fact that I can just remember that I have a really good time seeing them but not know a single fucking song. I think that's really great and I'm definitely going to check them out. And I recommend that you do too if you go into your first fucking this year. Or even your second or your third and you've just never seen Fire Shrines, pop along and have a laugh. Girls Weird is playing at Varken this year. Now this is a band that I know almost nothing about other than the fact that Gull is behind it. I have no idea what the sound is, I don't know what I'm in for with the show, and I kind of want to keep it like that, because there's something fun about showing up to a show where you have absolutely no idea what you're in for, and just letting the experience happen to you. That's how I found a lot of good bands that I've never heard of before and now really like, like Glory Hammer and Batushka. So if that live show is encapsulating enough, I think that's going to be a really good time. I'm really keen to check out this show, but I have no idea what I'm in for. Next up is a band that's going to piss a lot of people off, and I have no idea why. Ghost are playing it fucking. For some reason, Ghost is a band that polarizes people. I don't know why. If you don't like Ghost, that's fine, but I don't get why so many people are so militant and angry about their hatred of Ghost. Anytime Ghost plays at a fucking festival or something, half of the people there are really fucking pissed off about it, and I have no idea why. If you don't like the band, just don't see the band. It's not that fucking difficult. Anyway, I like Ghost. I'm going to go check them out. I haven't liked that much on their new album yet. Hopefully, we're going to play a bunch of old stuff so I can have a good time. And, yeah. Gojira fall into the same basket as Arch Enemy in that they were just in Australia playing shows because they were over here for download, but I didn't go and see them because I went and saw a Monomath and Sabaton instead. Now, I'm not a massive Gojira fan and I've never seen them live before, but I do like Gojira enough to be interested to go and check them out and I'd be keen to see what their live show is like. I'm probably not going to bend over backwards to go and check these guys out, but if I do get the chance, I will be popping along. Heidevolk, another band that falls into the same sort of boat as Arcona in that they're a folk metal band that I've known about and enjoyed for quite a while and I've never really gotten that into them because I kind of already knew that I liked them. I do actually own a Heidevolk album and I enjoy that quite a lot. Never had the chance to see them live so very keen to check them out because a folk metal show is always a good time. Halloween are a band I've never actually had a chance to check out live before and I have been listening to them for quite some time. So pretty keen to see what their live show is like. I'll probably be hanging out with a few Halloween fans so I don't think I'll have a problem missing out on the show because I was off seeing something else with someone else or something like that. Pretty keen to see what they bring to the stage live show wise for a band that's been around for as long as Halloween. Hopefully they've got a few cool tricks up their sleeve to make that live experience really memorable. 
Do this priest. Like, of course, yes. They're playing a metal age, but they're also playing a Of course I'm seeing them twice. Why would I not? Of course I am. Fuck. So when I was planning my festival adventure for this year, I said to some of my friends that I didn't think I was going to go to Varken this year, simply because I've been to like the last f I don't even know how many I've been to in a row now. I've been to a lot of Varkens and I thought it might be time to try something new, see something different, yada yada yada. I basically said to my friends there was only one band that would get me to come this year and if that band played, I would come to Varken. And when Korpiklani was announced, I pretty much went and instantly bought my ticket because they were the band that I wanted to see at Varken the most. Korpiklani are the band that got me into folk metal, they're probably my favorite band and have been for years. These guys are one of the first bands that I saw in like a small intimate live setting. They are the first band that I got to meet. The guys are really nice in the band. I love all of their songs. Gordopiklani holds a very special place in my heart and there is no way I'm missing this show. Even if I'd like fucking break my leg or am stabbed in the eye or something, I'm gonna try my hardest to go and see Korpiklani. I don't think there is any conceivable way that I will have a bad time at this show. Definitely checking those guys out for sure. Remember Kurt is an artist that plays at Varken every year. It's also an artist that I don't really want to talk about too much. I love Mambo Kurt. Anyone who has been to Varken and has seen Mambo Kurt knows exactly what Mambo Kurt does. But if you don't know who Mambo Kurt is, you haven't seen Mambo Kurt before or anything like that, I would recommend not looking into it too much and just going to the show and seeing what happens because I think that's the real beauty of the Mambo Kurt show. And you pretty much guaranteed to have a good time, if you're anything like me at least. If it's first Varken this year, definitely check out Mambo Kurt. I don't really care that much about seeing Nightwish or not. I like some of their songs and I think they're going to put on a good live performance. So I would be keen to check them out, but you know, if they clash with something else, sorry Nightwish. But I would like to see them at least once. I want to go see Running Wild because really, why not? I've got a bunch of friends going to go see Running Wild. They're all really excited for it. I've never seen them before. Why not pop along and join in the fun? Sepultura are a band that I have listened to for quite a while, had multiple chances to check out live and never have. You know, maybe I'll get around to check them out this year. I kind of hope I do because I think they'll put on a pretty good live show and yeah. Skiltron fall into that same category as Arcona again in that they're a folk metal band that I've listened to in passing quite a bunch and haven't really bothered to check out any more than that. They'll probably put on a good live show because again, folk metal shows are always fun. These guys are a little bit more power metal-y than folk metal-y, but still, whatever. I think they're gonna be fun. Got a chance to see Skindred at Bloodstock last year. I had no idea what I was in for with that show, and I gotta say, the music itself was not really my jam. But the vibe of the crowd really was. Everyone was so into it. It was just like a silly, wacky, do whatever the fuck you like sort of experience that I really like in a live show. So I'd be keen to see what they bring to the table for Varken and see if they can generate that same vibe that they had at Bloodstock. If they do, I'll be really fucking keen to check them out. Solstice Fear are playing at Varken this year. Now, I really hope they're on like the headbanger or the wet stage, i.e. a tent stage, because this is one of those bands that I think just would really thrive in that darkened, sort of claustrophobic setting rather than a big open fucking stage. I feel that a lot of these sort of atmospheric artists just sort of work a lot better in that sort of environment because there's less interference from other things around. There's no fucking loud noises from fucking shops or fucking whatever. You just get the experience that you came for. And I think that Souls to Fear, if they're on a tent stage, definitely gonna see them. If they're not, maybe not so much, but still gonna try. I have only ever seen Steel Panther and Varken, and I kinda like that because I feel that Steel Panther are a really good festival band. Now, I've seen them twice. I saw them in 2014 and in 2016, I think it was. And there was a bit of a difference between the 2014 and the 2016 show in that in 2016, I think they got told to be a little not so steel panthery, shall we say. It was kind of evident in that they were not trying to get as many members of the crowd to show as much of their anatomy as they had at the 2014 show. I'm not sure if that's just because they got told off last time. But either way, Steel Panther are very enjoyable, at least from my perspective, so I'm going to be checking them out. 
technical reasons, the lighting has now changed, but let's carry on. Trollfest are another band I'm really looking forward to checking out at Vulcan this year. I saw them in January this year, and they put on a stupidly fun live show. I'm really looking forward to seeing the energy that they put down in that live show that I saw in a small bar in Australia brought to a larger festival environment, because I think that's just going to be fucking Sick. If you like your silly Norwegian folk metal, Trollfest is one for you. Vince Neil's playing. Yeah, I'll go see Vince Neil. Why the fuck not? Fucking open air firefighters are another group that I'm pretty sure play at every Varken. That's because it is Varken's local fire brigade and their brass band. They play pretty much exactly what you would expect a brass band in Germany to play. That is lots of brass band music and some sort of Germany umpa music, which I really quite like because it really just adds to that flavour that Varken has, that really just nice German time. I've done some silly dancing in some silly mosh pits to some silly fucking brass band umpa music at Varken with these guys and I'm looking forward to doing it again this year. If you're heading to your first Varken this year, definitely pop along and check these guys out simply for the tradition of anything else. Retain are playing at Varken this year as well. They're also playing at Metal Days. I talked about them in the Metal Days video, so if you want to know my thoughts on that, maybe go check out the Metal Days video so I don't repeat myself. Last band on the list is a band that I saw at Bloodstock last year, and that is Winter Sun. I really enjoyed their set at Bloodstock last year, I think, because I was really fucking hammered when I saw them. Winter Sun were the last band on stage at Bloodstock on the last day, closing out the festival pretty much, so obviously pretty fucking slaughtered by that point. Now don't really remember that much of the set, I remember being annoyed that they didn't play their fucking first album from start to finish, but you know they were never going to do that anyway, so that's really on me more than anything else. I'd like it if they did that at Varken, but I doubt they will. Either way, very keen to check them out again because I love Winter Sun and just that technical wank that they're so good at. Anyway, those are some of the bands that I'm keen to check out at Varken this year. If you think I've missed something or have a recommendation for something that I haven't mentioned, pop it down in the comments if you've got any other useful input on bands and shit, do that too, or whatever. Anyway, that's all I was going to talk about today. Now, just a little quick note, I'm probably going to change it up to a two-week production schedule on these videos, simply because the last few I've only just got out by the skin of my teeth, and yeah, I want to give myself a bit more time to work with. So I'm probably going to go to a video every two weeks now, instead of a video every week, because yeah, it's just easier. So, yeah. Let's see how that goes. Anyway, if you liked the video, click on the like button. Like I said, if you've got any band suggestions for festivals or you just feel like saying good day or whatever, pop a comment down below. You can check out Facebook and Instagram if you are into that sort of thing. Links down in the description for those as well. Otherwise, if you haven't done so already, you can subscribe to the channel and get updates when I do videos and stuff every two weeks, maybe now or whatever. We'll see how we go with that. Or you can just watch some videos that I've done in the past. The sun is rapidly setting right now, which means I'm about to run out of usable light, so I'm gonna stop recording now. <laughs> <laughs>